All right, so hopefully you managed to create your account. We'll take a look at some of what these icons are. My screen might look a little different than yours because oftentimes the apps are a little bit different on each platform. But hopefully you see overall you've got um, you've got uh, your main menu at the very top. There's a little house for your home uh, home stream. When you follow accounts, you'll see all of their vines listed on that home screen, of course. Just like any network, there's going to be um, the content of who you follow. Uh, I've got a little search magnifying glass right there, so you can go look at what's popular, what's on the rise. You can do search terms like hashtags. You can use hashtags also on uh, on, on Vine. Uh, Vine is actually very much tied with with Twitter. Twitter, um, you know, Twitter was um, Twitter bought them actually a while ago. So let's see. We've also got these other options. So you've got the um, notifications, of course, just like any other social network. That's when you're going to see who followed you, uh, your likes, and all of that, all of those activities, statistics. There will be an icon for your particular profile. Now, of course, because you you're going to use Vine on a uh, on on Wi-Fi and such, you, you have to make sure you have good. You want to make sure you have good reception. I just have this account that I created. It doesn't really have anything. Uh, anything set up just yet. Vine also has the ability to do these private messages. You you can send vines to, to people privately, they can send them to you, friends, etc. So this is to share your to share what you find with other people. And the big thing is about doing the the recordings. So on mine I've got the I've got the the vine record button down at the bottom there. Looks like a really weird uh, video camera. So I'm gonna click that and the way vine works is then it's going to uh, be right on my screen here of course and again you might have different um, different icons than mine but for example, one of the items that I see on the corner right there is uh, that one right there. You can upload. This is the trick, actually, about making the most complex and interesting vines, perhaps, which is to upload. Let's say you do some recording. You do some recording, and then you, you can upload the vine. You can upload. You can, uh, if you record your videos, you can record them before, uh, before you get them into Vine. So that's one of the ways that I'll, do. I'll, I'll show that too. But let's say I'm right in Vine and I want to make a Vine right here. So you just tap and hold it. The longer I tap it, see it's recording my Vine and the little bar is going up. So everything that I'm doing is going to be one long video. So there was a very basic uh, vine that it's it's gonna loop. I'm gonna 
go back. What I could do instead, okay, I can delete. I can delete that uh, that video, and instead, what I can do is I can record a little bit by ho by tapping. So let's say I'm going to record a little here, and then I'm going to anywhere on the screen, anywhere on the on the on the screen itself. So I tapped a little bit and it recorded. I held it and it recorded. And then let's say I change angles, like over here. Tap and record right there. So now that recorded a little bit more on that angle. Let's say then over here, I switch angles there. I'm going to record there. So you see there. I have I have these different angles that I put together. One is one direction, one is another, and then I have three different shots. When you have different shots, then you've also got this editor. You've got a basic built-in editor into Vine, and what that lets you do is do some basic edits. So you have these different shots which you can rearrange or you can delete. So you want to you want to do your video over, you want to start it over? Yeah. There should be an X on the top left. So here, in my case, for example, I rearranged my clips. I recorded a little bit, then I stopped. Then I recorded a little bit more, and I stopped. So then I have these different clips. And then now, I change the order of those clips. Let's say I want to start over again, so I can click that uh, little X on the top left. I can save it now or throw it away. I'm going to throw it away. I have the option also to flip the camera over. So right there. I can record myself. So let's say I'm recording myself a little bit. Hello everyone, we are learning Vine in class. So then what I could do is flip that over and record the class. You might have an option uh, like this. I have this uh, this wrench, and in the wrench I have different options. So you see, there's a grid. I can turn on a grid so that it helps me line things up. So see how the lines are there, and I'm going to line up. I can turn on my my light. I have something called ghosting, which is pretty cool. Um, if I record a little bit, and then turn on the little ghost, it's going to show me where my previous shot was at, like a ghost, so then I can line it up for our next shot. So for example, if I'm trying to record something that 
is like a stop motion um, a stop motion effect and the ghosting would work really well so for example I'm going to set up something right here I'm going to record that a little bit, turn on ghosting so I can see the previous shot and then move this a little bit over here and then line it up so that the previous shot is as close as possible. So here's how I can do this animation. obviously very basic but look at that I've got that little uh, little, uh, the tissue moving across the screen because I've got that ghosting effect turned on so that I can see the previous uh, shot to set up my future shot eventually I, I'll say maybe I, I like this so I'll click the check mark there's obviously plenty more ideas that I have, but let's say I've got something that I that I do want to publish, and so here, then I've got uh, the options. Is this going to be public for everyone to see, or is it going to be a private message to some of my followers? What's the text I'm going to add to this vine, and I could put hashtags. What's the channel? Where am I going to put this so that people can can check it out? sharing it. Obviously I'm going to put it to Vine, although technically you can turn that off and the little video will only be recorded to your phone, but uh, I want it shared on Vine. And if I connect Twitter and Facebook, when I put this on Vine, it will also be sent to my um, followers on Facebook. And then there's share at the bottom. So let's say on this, I'm going to put this as uh, public. I want it to be sent to people. And notice uh, as I have a spot to write the caption, I also have the icons right here for uh, adding, for, for doing mentions. Like on Twitter, you can mention other accounts and they'll see this message. And I've also got that little tag next to it as the hashtag. So let's just see, let's, I'm going to call this Vine. Stop motion. Yeah. Hashtags and links and text and a bunch of things. Yeah. Vine stop mo adventure. And I'll add a hashtag. Uh, the hashtag, of course, is just a little hash mark, and as you start typing something, um, let's see, start typing stop, it would give me suggestions, stop, stop motion, stop it, stop bullying, etc. I'm going to select stop motion. And again, I would not overload the, um, the hashtags just because you can write 30 of them. I wouldn't put 30, then you start to look like a spammer. I would say three is good, maybe five, but more than that, you're, you're starting to kind of overload things. So I've written the text, put in a couple hashtags, add it to a channel, let's see. Animal music, art, comedy, dance. Doesn't quite really fit into anything. I 
and I'm going to share it to Vine, and I could put it over to Twitter if I've got my Twitter account plugged in, which I should because to, uh, Vine is integrated with Twitter. I'll click down at the bottom, share. It's going to upload it. There is, but there is, but unfortunately, most of the official apps, especially, don't give you an easy way to change accounts. I had to log out of my current account and then log in to this test account. So usually, that's how you have to do it. You have to log out, then log in. But, I mean, those that account. In this case, my account gets married to my Facebook, or do I can log to another Facebook account? Let's say okay, one from my customers and post from my their Facebook. Hmm. Really, what you would want is a you would want a Vine one Vine account for each Facebook account. I wouldn't really want to use the one Vine account for many Facebook accounts because. It would, it'll share that Vine to whatever many Facebook accounts you want, yes. But then, if someone from one company visits the, face, visits the Vine account, they're going to see everything. They're not just going to see that one Vine. They're going to see all of the Vines that you've put up there. So you might have put in a Vine about a pet shop and a Vine about a restaurant, and like that doesn't make sense, so why would the pet shop people be looking at the restaurant's Vines? So you, do, would, you would want... Uh, a separate Vine account for each separate Facebook account. Mm -hmm. And it's allowed on Vine because they look like they match the telephone number with account. You can create um, you can create accounts in different ways. I don't think the phone number is required. I think you need an email address because and I a Twitter account. In order to register to my account, I receive a text message. Oh, phone. okay. Hmm, that might be new. Um, I, I don't remember having to do that, but it might be it might not it might not tie a particular phone number to a particular account. Maybe it just needs to verify that a human is creating this instead of a spam bot. So, I remember when Vine came out, I think it was in 2013, around uh, the beginning of the year, people were saying, this, this is so weird, like, okay, video is great, but six second videos? What, what can you possibly do with that? You can definitely see, if you get this inspiration, if you go to the search, and you go look at what's popular, what's on the rise, and all of these channels, like let's say art, you'll see how people are being artistic and creative in such a short time. So right there, that, uh, sometimes I feel like that's hard to believe that that was only six seconds because I see something interesting, I hear something, it has a story, it's advertising something or showing me something interesting. Well, like this one, this is one of the accounts that I love. Um, this is um, this account here, Fucht on Honix. Uh, they take all of these old black and white video clips and mix them up together in insane, interesting ways and put in music. Uh, like this one is... Those, some of those shots look like they're from the classic um, Buñuel movie. But uh, let me turn up the volume. There's some in there that from that particular account that I've seen that are just so creative. You can always click on a particular um, profile name and then it'll take you to their account. So 
uh, one thing that we'll see here you have followers and following of course and then um, another measurement of, of popularity you have followers but another measurement do you see right here here's the account so you've got followers following and another measurement is loops this is how many times someone has watched your video it's looped it so this has got 8.2 million loops um, the whole account that is this particular one right here it has 100 likes 3600 loops Oh, this is one of the ones I like. This is weird. So I really recommend you look at the at that search screen and look at what other people are doing, of course, to get the inspiration, because what always happens with any of this social media is eventually you run out of ideas. Well, you shouldn't, because there's so many other people's accounts that you can be looking at to get those ideas. So what I will do is I'm going to pull up the, uh, the, the homework, actually. We'll talk about it. It won't be officially assigned until Wednesday, but the it's good to look at. So I'm going to pull up the. You can go ahead and go to to Blackboard and log into your account to see the assignment, because it's going to be similar in some ways to the Twitter assignment. If you go to the assignments section, the Vine assignment is there, um, and it talks about, well, if you've heard the saying, a picture's worth a thousand words, and how much is a video worth? So Vine is six seconds. For business, it can be very interesting. Uh, you can look up McDonald's and such, and you'll see how they're doing it, or Nike and you're gonna see what how they use the platform uh, you need to set it up with the uh, with your with the app of course you get it on your app stores create an account and there's no difference between a personal or business so you just create an account and usually it's tied to your Twitter so we've already created these Twitter accounts you can reuse that Twitter account for your vine uh, you'll need to uh, add your profile and fill in the biography just like any other any other network so you should be able to edit your 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 profile uh, on the app you need to send me an email with your vine account and i think the best way for you to get that is if you if you go after you've created a vine account you want to go to the website vine.co I'm gonna log in to vine.co on the website because there it'll show me the um, the address So I went to vine.co and I logged in and you can look at your own profile on the top right view profile and for right now because I haven't fully set it up my vine address is this right here vine.co slash u 10279 etc etc so that's okay 
that you've got one like that at the moment because I'm going to confirm here I don't believe you can choose the short name just yet settings custom URL what's that rejection rejection uh, sure but you just have to wait I believe two weeks before you can claim that name so sure you can set up a redirection but eventually you'll be able to claim your name so to claim your name you you would have to log into the website uh, you can click on your icon on the top right settings and you'll see custom URL but I can't choose mine just yet if you read the frequently asked questions it'll tell you I believe it'll say Oh, okay. Any Vine account that is older than 30 days and has more than two posts can register for a unique address. So yeah, maybe a redirection might be useful in the beginning. Yeah. So for this assignment, it's okay then that you send me your address as something like this, but eventually you're, you're going to want to claim your short name, uh, especially when you want to share the name because then you'll, you'll easily be say, I'm VMC Inc. On, on Vine and have a short address. So you're going to see, you can't do a whole lot on the website. You can watch Vines. You were, you were there from the start and you showed me your love, now I'm free. you can't upload anything. Yes. So something worth looking for that other people wants to watch There's a big variety of effort, let's say. Like this one right here. This one just very quickly I'm seeing like that's about that So you you can be pretty advanced or you can still get a lot done. Let's see this one. Uh, you can still get a lot done. And like my own, um, my own personal videos, usually I'm, I'm doing them right on the, I record them and then I have a, an app or two for video editing and then I put in a little music and make the edits. But yeah, it, it's not as spontaneous as you would think. It's not as spontaneous as a tweet that you think of something, you tweet it. Or maybe do a quick photo and you tweet it. Really, some of the more popular ones really show that people take a lot of effort to, to make them work really well. But uh, you're not going to be required to be that advanced or to do that much effort. And so um, it's going to be up to you to how much you can you want to do. Go ahead. And so if we look at the assignment, we'll see that the um, you need to send me the address so that I know that, that you exist. And then uh, you need to follow at least five accounts. And again, the reason I ask that you follow accounts is for you to see what others are doing. What, what inspiration can you get? Because on your own, you might run out of ideas. And now here's the trick. Number four, post a new original Vine every day from October 14th to the 21st. I'm not, I'm not saying for you to create oh my God, these advanced is kinds of... If you want to say to me, destiny, uh, for, say it to my face. Whole week. Like, oh my god, Veronica that, is pissing me off. Technically, that's just two different shots. He just put me, it upside destiny, down. Right say it to my face. Um, let's see this one. Hello, idiot. You're on my new hidden camera show. Or you're on my hidden yeah, camera show. Hello, idiot. You're on my new hidden camera show. 
some of Hello, idiot. You're on my new hidden camera. Uh, <laughs> Took a lot. Ah, you stop. Ah. Thank you. Love my so a lot of these ones really depending what you're gonna do like that that took some effort it's not super complicated because he recorded it at that he had someone report him and then they went to go eat he recorded that and then he had that shot right there so it is gonna so be that you're gonna, gonna do something I'm a goner See, that's hey, more Brandon, acting than editing. Uh, uh, well, the most popular things oftentimes are going to be crazy things. Sure. But think about it also in terms, let's see if we look up Hello. McDonald's. What is McDonald's doing? McDonald's. What? <laughs> see that well let's let's see how terrible it is because it's got 104,000 loops so 413 likes and yeah they've got the the bigness of McDonald's behind them but probably not but uh, that's a good idea possibly this is a stop motion thing. This is what I did a moment ago with this piece of tissue paper right here. This is just nuggets flying across the sky. You can do that. So that's why you're going to be challenged to... Wait, is, is that like a, also supposed to be like a Christmas theme? Like, uh, a, like a little snow globe? Or, or like an ornament. Or like an ornament. Yeah, it could be, definitely. Uh, and they're putting the, well, it looks like they're more focused on putting on the meteor shower hashtag. because a meteor shower about to happen, I think. And so they tapped into that hashtag right there. Don't forget my strawberry oh, lemonade. Nice. I know, I got it. Not, Where's mine? Marielle. So there's big Get celebrities Don't on Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. Vine. I know, well, I got celebrities it. Celebrities that have millions of followers. And obviously if you get a big endorsement like McDonald's. Get me Don't forget my help. strawberry lemonade. I know, but I got for it. your assignment, you can Where's think mine? about... Once Give a me day, a don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Thing. And yes, you can just give turn me on your don't device forget my strawberry lemonade. Like, I know, I got it. And fine, that will give you a Where's grade. Mine? But give me really, a don't forget you, my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Creative or think different ways. Where's mine? I'm not really, give me really don't gonna forget focus my strawberry on, lemonade. Okay, I know, I got, got it. it. You got perfect ten points because you did something amazing like these vine superstars. Give me a don't forget my strawberry lemonade. Because again, no, I got it. You get out of this Where's class mine? a grade, but you get, get out of it something don't tangible. Get my that maybe you know, do for I your own it. company, or maybe you learn this to get hired to do it for a company. Give me so don't this is an opportunity for you to, I know, be, I got it. Uh, to be within the boundaries, to be outside the box. To Give me don't forget Most of my these assignments are like that. I know, I got it. And I can grade you on the liberal stuff. You created a vine account. Give me don't forget my strawberry lemon. But then how creative you are is kind of up to you. Where's mine? Then the assignment further is well, you want to use a hashtag also. Lemon. You've know, got experience in hashtags with Twitter and such. Where's mine? So that applies as well. That don't forget my strawberry lemon. No, I got it. Quite looked here, but it looks like I got a couple of Where's followers mine? already. Give me a Don't forget my strawberry lemon. No, right I now. got it. Where's mine? Give no, me because of don't the amazing my strawberry vine. I know, I got it. This Where's amazing mine? vine right here. Give me a Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Where's mine? Give me a Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. 21 loops. Where's mine? Give me a Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Where's mine? this probably Give me a Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got but, it. But uh, right there, Erasmo followed me. Where's mine? 15 minutes ago. I did not pay Erasmo to follow me. Give me a Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. follow and then Sam Cornell, like Where's my, mine? I think they're, yes, Give these me could be Don't forget my strawberry these, lemonade. These I know, I got effects. it. But the more you use it, Where's mine? and put stuff out there, Give me the Don't more forget my strawberry possibility I know, I got it. accounts following you. So you Where's have these mine? products or brands or whatever you're don't trying to promote my on social media. This is just I got another it. way to reach an audience. And after this whole Where's class mine? is done, you may decide, I hate them all, Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. No, I got it. Or you may decide, I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Give me don't forget my strawberry lemonade. Sleep, I know, I got it. You can get a lot of audience. Where's mine? 
So, uh, don't forget my strawberry questions lemon. about no, I got it. or the assignment? Where's mine? Give me no, don't forget my strawberry lemon. to start lemon. until Wednesday. No, I got it. And start thinking about it and playing with it, but you won't Where's be graded until Wednesday. From Give this me Wednesday to next Don't Wednesday. forget my strawberry lemon. Back next no, Wednesday. I got we'll it. More about vine and such. But, uh, Where's mine? Assignment... Give me a <laughs> Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Where's mine? Give me a <laughs> Don't forget my strawberry You can lemonade. do that with no, a lot I got of... It. Where's mine? Give me a <laughs> Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Exactly, you could Where's do mine? moving around a little bit. Give me a <laughs> Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. Stuff, I know, I got and it. And then change the angle from behind. Where's behind mine? the plane like it's actually Give me a <laughs> Don't so forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got so it. it in such a short amount of time. So Where's mine? That's why I want to see you guys. Give me a <laughs> Don't forget my strawberry graders. lemonade. I know, I got it. Cotton Where's balls mine? for clouds, yes. Give me a <laughs> Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. So... That's, uh, Where's mine? Part one, and Give on Wednesday Don't we'll have part two of the lecture. No, I got it. Uh, we'll talk more about vine. Maybe. Where's mine? Do some stuff together Give here. Me to get Don't an forget idea, my strawberry lemonade. I know, it for I got the moment, it. We'll have some lab time till the end of the day. Where's mine? And the homework Give me is out. Don't forget my strawberry lemonade. I know, I got it. Wednesday. Where's mine? Give me Don't forget.